Hello and welcome back to Project Hercules Diaries where the news today is it's cactus. No, it's not cactus, but if you're from Australia, you'll kind of get that reference. A bit of slang for meaning something is broken. Well, nothing's broken. It's a beautiful day. The garden looks great. This video is coming to you today from the kitchen because behind me on the kitchen table, I have exhibit A. Before we sit down, in case anyone's wondering, this video is coming to you from Leicestershire in England. Bonus marks if you can spell it. So the kitchen table, this is the kitchen table and on the kitchen table is a valve of unknown provenance. Now Bob gave me this a while ago, it was on his mantelpiece and I always admired it. It was next to the big valve which is, is about twice the size. As I tell you what, you can have the small one. As val valves go, that's not particularly small but it's what we have. So it sat on my mantelpiece next to the log burner for quite a while um, and it's a nice thing to have. It's a thing of beauty. We think it's from a compressor rather than an engine, so it might not be hardened. It's not focusing particularly well, but it says EXT on that, so we think that's an exhaust valve, and there's a few numbers around the top there, but uh, I have no idea what this is from. It came from near a dockyard, uh, and we think it might be from a compressor. Now, we need to make a decompressor, not a compressor, which looks like a poppet valve. This is the drawing that, that Bob did, so you can see side profile. And when you look at the top view, you've got the area of the outside of the decompressor. Now, if I put this on top of the drawing, you can see that actually, it might be exactly the right size, which is an amazing coincidence. Now, if this is from an engine, it's probably hardened. And that means we might have to take it down if that's possible uh, or grind it. Um, if it's from a compressor, it might not be hardened, although it does look like it's got a ground finish on that. Um, it's too thick there, so that would have to be taken down. It's too thick on the shaft, so that would have to be taken down, and it's too long, so it would have to be shortened. It would be a shame to uh, modify a thing of beauty, but it would be a big shortcut if it works. So that's one of the things that we plan to do tomorrow. Not today, because we're off paddling. The other thing we plan to do tomorrow is to fit this 24 tooth sprocket to the Dynastart. There's a 19 tooth on it. This is where we started with 13 tooth. So we've gone from 13 to 19, uh, and now we're going from 19 to 24, and that should give us a really high rotational speed as long as there's enough torque. So I have a relatively inexpensive, uh, well free actually, because I borrowed it off a friend, um, rev counter from Matt of Matt Shed. Thank you, Matt, that's in the garage. Here, it's a very simple device. There's an electronic rev counter, there's a little sensor here, and there's a magnet that you stick onto the bike and when somebody presses the starter motor you just hold that there and it gives you an rpm reading now we've tried it with this the 19 tooth sprocket and we get 390 rpm which is quite good so if we can get the 24 tooth on by calculation that'll give us um, between 450 and 490 depending on how fresh the battery is uh, and whether or not there's enough torque in this baby but hopefully that would be great because at nearly 500 rpm that should be enough inertia of the of the 50 kilograms rotating around here to take the piston over top dead center uh, and that means we've got our electric foot ready to go we just need to finish making the decompressor to go in there so there's a fair bit to do a bit of wiring after that a bit of fuel and then we'll be ready to press the button so it's getting quite exciting but today i'm off paddling the boat on the roof has gone down because it's on a friend's van He'll be collecting any moment now. So most updates will be on Sunday this weekend, but uh, that's it for now. So as usual, thank you for watching and more updates will follow.